Hi, this is State Representative Rick Krajewski, and I'm really excited that we have had an opportunity to hear the governor's budget address and to be able to support his initiatives. And I commend the governor on, on particularly focusing on two very important priorities when it comes to his budget. Um, one, there's a real focus on education and increased education funding as the Commonwealth is dealing with a trial uh, because of its inadequate school funding across across the state. Uh, I am really happy and I applaud the governor for investing over $1.25 billion in additional, additional education funding to go to our most deserving schools and to go through the fair funding formula. Um, so I commend the governor and continue to be a champion for strong public education. And I also commend him for having a budget with a very strong climate uh, climate initiative. So this budget would increase the staff of the DEP by about 40 personnel, which is very important as our DEP needs more resources and more staff to be able to protect our environment. And it also fully funds the protection of our clean water streams throughout Pennsylvania, which as we know, is one of our most treasured natural resources in the state of Pennsylvania. Um, however, there are a couple of things that I, I look forward to working with the governor on to make sure that they are priorities as well. Um, I, along with some of my colleagues, sent a letter to the governor calling on him to invest a billion dollars into our parks and recreation infrastructure. Um, and we're calling this generally investing in community infrastructure. As we continue to deal with a pandemic and as communities like mine are addressing gun violence, I believe that putting those, those public dollars into our public institutions, whether it's libraries or parks, green spaces or recreation centers is one of the most important things we can do in terms of preserving the physical, emotional and mental health of our communities, particularly our working class communities. And the other thing I look forward to working with the governor on is making sure that we make a real commitment to affordable housing and housing as a human right. Uh, we still have constituents that are dealing with covering their rent, um, dealing with wanting more funding for our rental assistance program. And we have a real need for affordable housing here in the city of Philadelphia, and particularly in my district in West Philadelphia. And my hope is that we can use this budget as a vehicle to bring some much needed housing dollars to protect the most vulnerable renters and homeowners in our city and our state and continue to prioritize housing as a human right. So these are just a few of my thoughts on the governor's budget. Again, I commend him for making a strong commitment to our environment and to public education. And I look forward to working with him on the issues of community infrastructure and on affordable housing. Thank you.